Hello and welcome to Unwrap With Me, your girl Helen. You're joining me from Le Dauphin Grand Paradiso Hotel in Roma. Today, my guest is a beautiful gospel artist. Her voice is amazing. When she's singing, you want to listen to what she's singing. You want to worship with her. I'm talking about Rachel. Let's get chatting with Rachel on the other side. Welcome back. So I mentioned that I'll be chatting with the beautiful Rachel. How are you? I'm very well, Helen. How are you? Good. I haven't seen you in a long time. Ages, right? Yeah. Same here. How yeah. are you? Good. I'm good. Uh, you're looking fresh as always. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. So are you. Yeah. Uh, I want to know, Rachel. Yes. I, I know you from the song, Shirab song. Uh, what was the title? Sweet, Sweetie La? Sweet, Sweetie La. Sweetie La. And we're just like, wow, this girl can sing. And she came, then you did your own song. Then, boom, you went quiet. Firstly, before we even talk about after your works and you went quiet, I want to know, well, were you from, I heard rumors that you were from Copper Belt. Of course, that's very true. Mm -hmm. I um, I was born in Chingola, born mm -hmm. and bred in Chingola, grew up there, um, did my primary school there, my secondary school there. And I only got to move to the capital city um, when I was, when I went to college. I, I studied from Nipa. Okay. But permanently, I only moved here when I got married. Okay, so yeah. Nipa, you was to yes, I'll be here home. when when our semesters would, like would start, mm -hmm. and when I'd close, I'd go back home. But I only permanently moved here when um when I got married. But obviously, I was more in Lusaka, um, considering the fact that I when I finished my high school, I straight away went into music. That's all I did, and then after three years, I decided to go back to school for my tertiary education. So um yeah. Basically. What did you study? I did management study. Okay. Uh, I, I want to find out. Uh, you grew up with both parents? Yes. In Chingola. In Chingola. Okay. They're still there. Same house, same place. <laughs> That's my village. They say, really? my, well, I originally come from Mbala, Amulungu by tribe, by the way. Very proud of Yeah. But um, I'm Lungu, grown up. That's a tribe. You don't. Oh my word. There's what a tribe you, called Can you Lungu. speak it? Yes, Muri Uri. That's how we greet and you answer. Did you mean? Oh, mm. Muriuli sounds like from East. That's when well, they say Muriuli, that's Tumbuka. We yeah. say Muriuli. Oh, that's okay. And we say Ningo, that's fine. Okay, I've heard people greet each other like that. Ningo, yeah. Ningo, I, I didn't know what. Oh, no, there's actually Mamboi, Namonga, and Lungu. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. You always you grew up in a Christian home? Yeah, I, I did grow up in a Christian home. Um, and. Um, I, I got born again at a very tender age. I grew up in a church called Evangel back home in Chingola. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I've been a church girl all my life. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, on that note, we take a break. On this break, I want you to pick uh, one of your music videos that we can show on this show. Okay, um, um, the song that's coming up is called Nami Totela. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a song that I wrote when I was going through a very rough moment in my life. And whatever I touched just slipped out of my hands. and. Um, uh, I was so broken. It was a very, very, very low season for me. And but I remember God just ministering to me. Said, you know what? Just worship me. I got your back. And so the song was born. It's called Nami Tota. So whatever you're going through, wherever you are, praise you out. It's gonna sort you out. Nice. Alrighty, let's check out uh, Rachel with Nami Tota. <laughs> Chen no chilango en chitayon se Colende 
And you're watching Unwrapped with Helen. Stay glued. Welcome back. So that's Rachel with uh, Nami Total. A very beautiful song. I must okay. say. Yeah, and your voice beautiful as ever. Oh, I'm really humbled. Yeah, so um, I'm trying to train my voice to sing. You like, come to the academy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have an academy? Yes. Nice. We'll talk about that a little uh, later on. In the opening, you had mentioned that um, you're married. How long have you been married? I am married to, first of all, I'm married to a wonderful man. Mm -hmm. by the name of Edwin, mm -hmm. probably known as Nino, yeah. and I've been married for, we've got in eight years this year. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so this is the thing, uh, your, your husband, Nino, is a well-known producer, yes. and he produces your songs, right? Yes. For some reason, people felt like when you got married, because you kind of went quiet, people were like, Probably Nino, because he's been in this music industry for a long time, he's been protective of his wife, <laughs> so he doesn't want to put her out there. I'm sure he's telling her to just no, no, be no, 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 home. No, no. And... Is it true? It's not true. Let me just uh, clean the air. Um, my being quiet has got nothing to do with uh, my husband you know, starting in Maui. Actually, yeah. he's, a, he's, my, he's my number one fan. Yeah. He supports me. He's, he's always there pushing me to just really go there and, and, and you know, Trying to make things happen, yeah. and um, my being quiet was more spiritual than than anything else. I've not released anything like I've, I've not released an album. I've released things in the past seven years. I've done I've done two singles, um, but doing an album, no, because I was waiting on God. Mm -hmm. And now Simply. you're ready. And last year, God says it's, it's time. Mm -hmm. I've not stopped working. And I think if, if, uh, for people who have been following me closely, I've always been doing ministry. The past seven years I've been active, but not just able, not been able to produce an album. But last year, 30th of December, that's when we did the major release. And we are releasing the album, we're officially launching the album on the 28th of July, this month actually, mm -hmm. at the Blessing Center. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it, my husband is amazing. When I want to say, I want to clear the air, 
he's always there pushing me to the top yeah. he's got all I, i've got all the support from my husband he's been wonderful did you did he start producing for you when you started dating or you met him from the studio we met before we started going out Okay. Yeah, um we made um during the period I think I came here with the Sherabs to record and he was one of the people that were working on the on the project. Mm-hmm. And so we started out as friends and uh yeah. And then out of that, well, yeah. <laughs> love happened and yeah. Here we are. How many kids do you have? We've got two children. Um uh-huh. my first is seven uh-huh. and my second is thir- three years old. Nice. Okay, uh, uh I want to know. Is it true somebody was telling me Before you actually said yes to his marriage proposal, you had rejected his proposal twice. The yeah. third time is when you said yes. I can no, that's I not can true. get married now. I'm clear. I'm 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 really really clear in the air today. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, know. Um actually me and me and my husband dated for seven years. Yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. And um I remember the time he proposed to me was I had gone I was in keen I'd gone to prepare for a show we were preparing for a tour uh, to go to Europe mm. and I was in Kenya for about two weeks and I only had three days in the country and in that three days he made sure he had he put something on my finger he had to make sure when you go to Europe everyone sees that ring I know, I know. <laughs> so I came back and he threw the surprise on me he just said we're gonna have dinner and uh, I'll sit at the end I'm seeing all these family members like oh where what what and then I'm seeing somebody kneeling Yeah, and it happened. And so I was gone for about four to five months. Mm-hmm. I was out of the country, and uh, uh, when I came back, just a few minutes, m- months after that, we got married in, in in October. So there was no point where you said no. No. Oh wow! I wonder how that story came up, really. Well, yeah. People have your own way of coming up with stories, but no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, a lot, of, a lot, a lot of people feel like. Um, you 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 are underappreciated or you are not doing enough to be where you're supposed to be because a lot of people look at Rachel and say she started a long time ago she did well her first album was fire people loved it mm. then suddenly she just went quiet then we have all new names coming up and taking up what they feel was supposed to be your place what what do you think is the reason that is or do you feel like that um Not necessarily. Um I believe that everything has got time. First and foremost, I want to make it clear to everyone that I'm not here to compete with anybody. I'm here to do what I feel is I'm meant to do. And I don't think it's the right spirit to be able to say, okay, so because this person is doing this genre of music and so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this because I wanna do this person. Yeah. yeah. The best that I can be is be me. And if people feel like I'm not doing much, Well, I'm going to be more in your faces this time. <laughs> <coughs> Please be in our faces. Okay, so I'm learning to be more on social media now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm learning more to share what what's been I've, I've actually there's been a lot that's been going on. Mm-hmm. I've been doing a lot of work in the background of, um as I mentioned earlier on, I run an academy called Vocal House where I do vocal training for different people groups up here, upcoming I've been training a lot of upcoming um um artists some of them who you know I've been training some of them mm-hmm. um I train choirs mm-hmm. and uh, apart from that this period also in the past uh, the times you've talked about me being quiet yeah. uh, my husband um founded a ministry called the elect okay I know I think most of the people know the elect band oh yeah yes yeah so we run a ministry called the elect mm-hmm. and uh even in there we do a lot of mentorship I think that's what's been taking a lot of my time I I mentor a lot of worship leaders, I mentor a lot of musicians, upcoming uh, artists. So, I think that's what's been keeping me busy. And then I'm a mother, I'm a wife, so yeah. I believe very much that my first ministry is my family. Yeah. It would be very hypocritical of me to go out there and look like a champion and my home is a mess. Yeah. So whatever I do, I make sure that my home is it's in good. shape. Yeah. And then I go out there and preach talk about Jesus. I'm looking at, uh, I'm, I'm looking at you and thinking you grew up in a Christian home you were born again at a young age you do you were you always this good child that I'm thinking you are a, any parents dream child because you're not giving them scandals I don't personally I've never read scandals about Rachel this Rachel that I haven't really heard well, I've had my moments don't but think like that is it I, that's <laughs> what I would love to know have you had a part in your life where you felt like you did something that shook people or your parents or peace of course of course um i think 
um, there was a year, um, I think just after I got married, something something happened. I won't go into the details, but I remember even being laid off our condo ministry in church. I would love to know what that is. I won't talk about it now. I'll tell you <laughs> alone. But I've had <laughs> moments in my life um, where I've I've let people down. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had moments where I've where I've I've been rejected. Mm-hmm. And at times, so many times I felt like I'm gonna give up. Yeah. Uh, so many times I felt judged. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so many times I felt like people don't really understand that I'm also a human being yeah. with feelings. No more person like any other person. I'm not perfect. And I've had my own ups and downs at times. And I feel like, you know what? I think I'm gonna give up on this. But the good part about it is when the word of God is planted in you, mm-hmm. no matter what happens, it keeps coming back to you. So you know what? This is not who you are. You're a child of God, and yeah. Okay. So I'm not being perfect. I've had my ups and downs. Oh, catch me on another day. I'll let you. <laughs> okay. On that note, we take another break. Alrighty. So this uh, this is unwrapped, and we're still chatting with Rachel. For now, let's just take a break. <laughs> Welcome back. So we're still chatting uh, with Rachel. Rachel, uh, firstly, I want to play a game with you. But before we play that game, I want to find out how were your teenage years like? Well, um, my teenage years were fun. I think I, uh, I had a very uh, fulfilled childhood. Yeah. And, uh, but also very musical uh, at the same time. Um, I, I sang in various um, groups. Uh, music groups when I was growing up and um, yeah very interesting I was very active at school um, I remember I was I was, I, guess I was very active in child to child mm-hmm. at primary school so I, do a lot, I did a lot of poetry mm-hmm. when I was young and when I went to high school I did a lot of debates I was in a debate in society I think I was, I was a secretary and I, yeah and I think I was a deputy head girl I'm not nice sure. Yeah, those candles, you know, with teenagers, we're always wanting to experiment and you're thinking you're older than your parents, you're, you know more than your parents. Um, Did you ever have that <laughs> phase? Okay, I think my scandals were one of a kind because I was a tomboy. So I didn't have boy related scandals, no. Yeah. Because my, my boys, boys were my friends and yeah. anybody that talked about how they liked me would see as being my friends. But I think the scandals that I had were where I would find myself doing the wrong thing or in the wrong, but the right thing in the wrong place. Yeah. For instance, I would be singing in class when I'm not supposed to be singing. <laughs> um, yeah, like those are the scandals I would love for singing. Yes, I would always get myself into trouble when I'm singing. And I remember, I think there was one used to teach her that ch- chest me out of class because she was singing. <laughs> I didn't during I didn't, lessons, and we're heading towards our exams. And I didn't attend class till I wrote my exams. Uh, did you pass? Yes, it was history, so I, I managed. Nice. Okay, so quickly, we're gonna play a game we call Crush and Rat. Okay. So I'm gonna give you three names, and whatever I ask you, well, uh, you pick one name only of these three names I'll give you. Okay. Okay. You know Maki too, right? Yes. You know Costa Monza, right? Yes. You know Henry Josakala, the actor, actor producer. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, so, who do you have a crush on in another life? Uh, Habi knows it again, obviously. Oh, that's okay. To be very honest, I... <laughs> just those three have you... never ever crossed my mind in time. Nah, no, nah, I don't. Yeah, they shouldn't cross your mind. That's good. If they have never crossed your mind, that's good. <laughs> we are not going to give you obvious people. Who would you look at and say, oh, okay. That's a, that's, that's a bad one. I'm, I'm, I'm very bad at that game, such games. No. Who would you date? I'm trying, I'm trying to go back to my teenagers. I don't think so. Henry Joseph, pick one. Lucky two. Henry, for whatever reason. Maybe you think, oh, this one. His music is so catchy. Oh, this one is a good actor. Oh, this one is a good presenter. I don't know. Um... 
the category is you've chosen i've never been my catch so none of the above sorry helen no but you have to give us one i can't <laughs> I'll, I, would, I would love them even in another life as friends, <laughs> but not. Mm -hmm. who, who would have been your ideal uh, crush and route? You don't have to wake up on really just to wake up on Nino. No, 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 no. Apart, we're not talking. We know Nino is your crush every day, your man crush every day forever. Mm -hmm. But we need. Uh, I, I needed uh, you to pick somebody. Sure. Honey, that's hard. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> no, there's no next one. This is it. It's the only one you had? Yeah. Yo, Helen, that's... You know there are certain things that just don't... I think that's one of the things that really just don't even cross my mind at all. Yeah. I'm so settled and... And the category apparently that you chose just... Didn't cut for me as in those lines. They're good people. They love them. I love them as friends, but... Not the category I want. <laughs> Okay, so for the first time we've had somebody who has completely refused to pick from our crush and rat, Rachel. I broke the record. It's not good. Well, it wasn't intentional though. <laughs> okay, so we'll pick a video that we can show. Okay, so I'm gonna pick, uh, you can show any video done by um, Christine. Okay, let's check out uh, something that my producers will put together. So, uh, Christine, anything from Christine? Calls me blessed, I know I'm blessed. Jehovah calls me blessed, I know I'm blessed. Jehovah calls me blessed, I know I'm blessed. Jehovah yeah. calls me blessed, I know I'm blessed. Jehovah 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 calls me fruitful, I am fruitful. What's up? It's your girl Ravishing, aka Rav, and you're watching Unwrapped with your girl Helen. Welcome back. So that's Christine. Beautiful song, and always her smile will make you smile back. You know what I mean? She's amazing. I, yeah. She's amazing. When you're gloomy, yeah. find a thought of Christine and she'll make you laugh. Yeah. Okay, okay, tell us about your new album. Wow. When you're launching it, just uh, tell us uh, what's going on. And so, um, yes, I have a new album which is called Christ Revealed. We did a media release of it on the 13th of December last year, but we officially launching the album on the 28th of July, that's this month, 28th. 
at the Blessing Center. And so all the tickets, the tickets are, show, are, are being sold in all ShopRite outlets yeah. throughout the country. So if you're on the Copa Bowl and you want to be a part of this experience, just go find your way uh, to ShopRite. Any part of Zambia, you'll find the tickets. And also we want to emphasize on time, the event starts at 16 hours. So on the dot, the event starts and it ends at 20.30. We want to stick to time. So we're not using Zambian time, we're using the actual time. Yeah. So we're looking forward to having you there. It's going to be a live DVD recording. So we want every one of you to come and just be a part of this um, this wonderful experience. And I also want to mention that, you know, this is not going to be an ordinary concert. It's, it's not going to be like a talent show or anything, just like it is dubbed the encounter. We're calling this event the encounter. It's not about me. It's not about the artists that you that have that you've seen on the poster. Really, we just want to do what God wants us to do, and just that that is just I show people in the presence of the Lord. The whole place is gonna erupt with praise and worship, and we're just looking forward to what God is gonna do on that. Nice, uh, Richard. It's been uh, fun having you on the show. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. though you've refused to play our crash and raps, I still have Kambala for you. <laughs> Okay, I'll yeah. make it up to you one day. You have to. Okay, so now just look uh, into the camera and just talk to your fans, uh, your last words. Okay, so um, I've missed you. Um, um, I wanna pro I'm going to promise to you that I'm going to be more in your faces and I'm going to be updating you on more about what I'm doing. And if you've not liked my page, my, my page is called Rachel Music or Rachel Nanyango, whichever you choose to take as my page. Rachel Music on Facebook, Rachel Music Twitter, Rachel Music Instagram. And I think one of the most important things that I love to do is really just, you know, encourage you to give your life to Jesus. That's what the reason why I do what I do. If you've never given your life to God, give your life to God. That's the best life you can ever have for yourself. I love you and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the 28th of July at the Blessing Center. God bless you. Thank you so much. Alrighty, so this has been Unwrapped with me, your girl Helen. I was chatting with Rachel. Hope you've enjoyed yourself and learned something. Like we always say, we entertain you, but do learn something from our guests. One or two things will educate you and help you improve your life. Remember to like our Facebook page, Unwrapped with Helen. Follow links to our YouTube channel so you can watch these episodes as many times as you feel like. From me and the entire crew, it's bye-bye.